As you get older, do you think you think about uh, death more often? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like Fern Howard said, you don't. You used to think 20, 20 years down the road. Now you don't hardly think more than five. <laughs> Maybe a year, you know, you don't know. And you don't know at any age. In my journal, yeah, see, here's, you see, I. It's January 1st, 2002. Thank you, Lord, for another year. You know, I write that. and uh, But I'm never alone when I've got my journal and my Bible. <laughs> Do you want to see the house? Here's the breakfast nook. And all of us ate here. But here's our wedding picture, right? Mm -hmm. Be sure and don't get the dust. <laughs> this was my mother-in-law's ducks. I had five children, and that's their senior pictures. And this is my oldest son, Danny, and he uh, died of cancer. But his, here's his little grandson, and I just love that picture. I view, do puzzles every year, but this is my first one for this year. And last night when I went to church, I had the trees in here. And I had a bunch of trees here, and I didn't have no place to put them. And last night before I went to bed, I thought, those trees have to go in there. So I tore it apart, and it fit in there. Terry, when he went to college, he came home, and he said, Mom, you've got your stuff in every room. And I said, well, I'm all the only one here. So. Easy chocolate cake. There's my recipe. It's getting kind of dilapidated. So I ate three biscuits yesterday when I, I fixed them and had biscuits and gravy, sausage biscuits and gravy, and I ate three biscuits. <laughs> and then last night I ate another one. So there's some people here in town that I couldn't live here by myself if I didn't have them. Haskell hit. Oh, yeah, Haskell helps me. The last job he did was start my pickup. And then he fixed a fence out here. That fence over there blew down. He fixed it and I didn't even know he came. And he told me, I don't know, take a picture of it. <laughs> oh. I'm stirring up this cake, but we've been talking and I, you know how I am when I'm talking, that I might goof up. I might goof up. I told her, I already told her it was your, I already told her it's your cake, so. <laughs> and you want it to taste as good as usual. We'll see if it tastes as good with her. <laughs> she could get, fill me in, Irene and you, and say the old ladies of Derazette. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Where is the task? <laughs> Thank you.
It's supposed to blow through pretty fast, this yeah, front does. Yeah, it is. But, but uh, it's uh, still, that wind's supposed to be miserable at twelve. get up pretty high. Yeah. And there's another one right up in the corner here. If I can get to him. What are you doing, Haskell? Killing a wasp. Oh, good. Is he dead? Look at that. You know what that is? Haskell hit. Man can do but almost anything. He grew up in Mississippi, one of 14 children. He was number seven. They were sharecroppers. And when he, he left there, he didn't want to go back because they were poor. He went to the army, moved to Perryton, and finally here in Derriset, he and his wife, she died at 60. And he also lost a son, but he met my sister Carol. And they got married. They were married for 12 years. The night it happened, I saw the lights of the ambulance and fire truck or whatever it was. Pretty soon they brought Haskell in. His face was red and his hands were burned and he got Carol out. It was, he was burned badly. That's why it's so remarkable that he does what he does. See, they let me put Carol right here. And uh, they normally don't do that. I need to come back and put some caulking on this. <coughs> and keep it from uh, getting moisture under and freezing. Because it may buck it off. I use liquid nails to set it on that block. <clears throat> oh, I, I'm kind of, you know, okay with everything. I'm, yeah, and if I died today, I'd be okay. I'd be uh, ready and happy for it. Uh, happy to go anytime. I don't fear death. Everybody wants to live long as they can, but that's uh, the good Lord. That's his uh, choice, I guess you could say. I'd be while I was making this cake. <laughs> yeah, she's taking a picture of the cake. She'll take a picture of me taking it and eating it, probably. But anyway, she interviewed me while I was making it, so don't tell them what's going to taste. Oh, gosh. Because I'm not very good when anybody's around. Well, I made that. Those big ones. I love the big ones. Yeah, those big I ended up eating three biscuits. But I put a gravy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday, God bless you, happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. So we just ask a blessing upon this time that's spent together tonight. We uh, pray that our conversations and our actions will bring glory to you. 
We leave it in your very capable hands tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pancake supper is the 26th of February, so we don't want to interfere with them. I miss our businesses. We used to have a lumber yard, an elevator, grocery stores, cafes, two cafes, hotel. Yes, I don't know any different, but I like it. Do you get down with the sadness sometimes? Sometimes. When I, uh, on TV, sometimes some of the things are, people, people can be so cruel to each other. And I, I just feel overwhelmed about it. There's a number of people in the world, which wouldn't be so bad, but each person is a world in themselves. They have feelings and ups and downs. And You know, you can't just dismiss them. <laughs> 